Morning. So, um, we've had a few messages telling you guys to act like children, but you still act like adults standing all um, straight back. <laughs> so please act like children so that any mistakes I make don't seem like obvious. <laughs> okay, so, God gave us many gifts and we're always thankful, right? But sometimes saying thank you doesn't really seem like enough. So, um, in the par parable of the kingdom is also what happened. Wait, uh, I'll just read that one. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his serv on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. So the man who had received five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master and the servants returned and settled the account with them. The man who had received five pounds brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five pounds. See, I have gained more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two talents also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who received the one talent came. Master, he said, I know, knew that you were a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant, so you know that I harvest where I have not sown, and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well, then you should have put the money on deposit with the bankers, so that when I returned, I could have received it back with interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten talents. For everyone who has will be given more, and he will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. So, not looking at the big picture, but looking at like the actual talents, but not money, like singing, or um, speaking, which I can't, don't have. <laughs> God gave each of us a talent, and... It's not necessarily always obvious, like, Otto can work really good with a computer, and sometimes we forget to thank him for putting this stuff on, and other tuna sandwiches, <laughs> which tastes good. But, um, so, there have been many people who've used their talents to praise God already, and that doesn't mean that you can't just because you're young, or your talent doesn't seem that great. But he gave you that talent for a reason, and you can use it to praise and thank him. But another great gift that God gave us is our free will, and children use their free will better than anyone. If they want to play, they're going to play, sleep, they're going to see TV, food, they do whatever they want because they can. Sometimes though, they could forget to thank God that they get that choice to eat pizza and skip vegetables. <laughs> yeah. So there may have been messages similar to this one, but that brings me to another point. We're each unique, aren't we? Like, Steven, you're not exactly the same as Belinda. <laughs> I mean, you might have similarities, but not really. So God, <laughs> God created each of us uniquely, and He made us who we are. And we can use that to thank Him, because if we were all regular people who looked exactly the same, acted exactly the same, did the same thing over and over, just like everybody else, it'd be a boring world. But God made it like this, so that we could thank Him in our each personal way. So, God gave us many gifts, and one always has to say thank you. So you can use your talents, gifts, and your identity to always thank God for the gifts He's given us. Thank you.